one, two, three. Welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for being here. So I'm going to be honest with you. Today's video is going to be more for me than for you maybe. Just because the topic that I want to discuss today is something that I've struggled with personally for the last few years. So I, okay, first of all, disclaimer, I may or may not have had an extra large coffee before this video. Okay, this bird is li literally going to make me scream. Okay, um, so I had a lot of, okay, give me, oh god, this is not okay. Okay, hopefully you don't hear the bird. I hear the bird, and quite frankly, I think it's going to make me sound a little irritated and hostile, and I just, okay, um, what was I saying? Okay, I had a lot of coffee, so that doesn't help either. Um, I... People with anxiety should not be drinking coffee, but here's the thing. I need it, and I won't discuss why in this particular episode, maybe another day, when we're a little bit more comfortable with each other and you're okay with subjects that are TMI. Mm -hmm. And I think with that, you get, you get the idea. I'm pretty sure I don't have to really elaborate much more um but anyway so if if you read the title of this video you would know that this is about not getting in our own way so stop getting in your own way and when i say that i'm saying it to you and i'm saying it to me because there have been so many times in my life where I've been so excited about something and I start something, but I don't finish it. And the reason why I don't finish it is simply because I stop believing in myself. It's like I get this moment of euphoria where I just, I feel like this is it. Like what I'm doing right now is, is it's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna succeed. And I have all the confidence in the world until I don't. And then I psych myself out and I let the negative thoughts and the self-doubt and all the bad things get to me and I stop. I don't follow through with my ideas and I don't finish the projects that I start and then I, I regret. Because time eventually moves forward and I always think, man, this, you know, this much time has passed and I could have... I could have been doing this. I could have had this project started and done. I, I could have continued on with it. Imagine, imagine how amazing it would be if you were actually consistent with that thing that you, you really enjoy. I know so many talented people that are really good at things and they, they start something with their talent, but they don't follow through because of self-doubt. And I can't tell you from the outside looking in how, how sad it is to see so much potential and not see the fruition of it. And it's, it's not just another person thing, it's a me thing. I don't just see it in other people, I see it in myself. I feel like I could be doing so much, but I let self-doubt get in the way. And I have a lot of goals for this year. And I have a lot of goals for my life in general. And one of them is definitely not getting in my own way. I am so done with that because I don't want time to pass 
And I don't want to look back and think, wow, this could have this could have been something. This could have exploded. This could have turned into something amazing, but it didn't because I was too busy being negative and stopping myself. Guys, I don't think I don't think we realize enough that we only have one life here on earth. And if you believe in reincarnation, that's cool. I respect that. And we could totally talk about that another time. But right now, I'm talking about this one life that we are living in this very moment. We only have this life. Really, we only have this moment. This exact moment that we're in right now, that's what we have. Because we don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and the next day and the next day. We don't know what next week is going to look like. We don't know what next month is going to look like. So why don't we take this moment for what it is and make it? Let's make our moment. Let's make it what we want it to be. Why do we get in our own way? I really, really would, I would love to know why. Because it is so common, and for me personally, it's, it's too common. There have been so many things, so many ideas that I've had that I just do not, I don't follow through with because I get so, so caught up in, in thinking, oh, it's not going to work out and I should just stop because I am not good enough to see it through or I don't even, I don't even know. Now looking back, it's like none of the reasons that I came up with at the moment were good enough. There shouldn't be a reason to stop yourself from doing something that makes you happy. If it makes you happy, why would you not do it? Do it. If you if you enjoy it, if it brings you life, if it makes you feel alive and fulfilled and excited, do it. Don't get in your own way. You only live once that song by drake man it is not just a bop it's not just a banger it literally is the motto you only live once what you have is today this moment carpe diem seize the moment make life what you want it to be because you don't know how long it's gonna last stop getting in your own way stop if you like drawing and you're talented, even if you're not talented, fuck that. If you like drawing, draw. Buy a sketchbook. Buy some, some colored pencils or pastels or paint or whatever it is that you like drawing with or painting with or making art with and just do it. Because I am pretty sure... That the satisfaction that will come from doing it because you enjoy it will outweigh, outweigh completely any possible self-doubt you might have. I'm telling you right now, that feeling that you get when you do something you like, it is so worth it. It is so worth it. If you like singing, dancing, do it. Record yourself. Because I promise you, when you look back at your your video or when you listen to your song or when you listen to yourself singing, you're going to feel amazing because you did that and because it was liberating and it helped you relieve stress and it helped you express yourself. And guys... That is so important. Expressing yourself is not just necessary because, because it's therapeutic. It's necessary because you are the only you that exists in the world. You are the only you. No one else is you. No one else can replace you. No one else can be you. So everything that you do is really unique. Literally. Just because it's you and no one else like you exists. Unless you have a doppelganger. 
Unless you have an identical ass twin that acts just like you, does everything the same. Aside from that, it's just you out there. No one can do what you do. And if you love doing what you do, do it. I don't know how else to say it, and I don't want to sound super aggressive, but man, I just feel the need to be extra about it because... I don't know, I just, I feel it. I feel this energy, I feel the need to tell you to do what you love. Do what you love because if it brings you joy, that is all that matters. Nothing else matters but making yourself happy. And I promise you, I promise you, other people want to see it too. It's not just for you. I'm telling you right now, I promise you, other people love seeing you do what makes you happy. And you know what else? It inspires them. I am inspired by seeing people do what they love to do. That inspires me because it makes me realize that if, if it brings them joy, it, that's the thing. I, I know it's going to make me happy doing what I love, of course. There, there's a reason why I love doing it, you know? I feel like these things are so simple, but in our minds, they become complicated because we let things like negative self-talk and self-doubt, we let it, we let it become bigger. We let it consume us to the point that we literally stop ourselves in our track and and, and I don't, I don't want to let that be my life anymore. My life has been, it's been controlled by negative self-talk and, and self-doubt so much that I'm just, I am, I'm not okay with it. I am not okay with it. And you shouldn't be either. You should not stop yourself from doing the things you love. So much beauty comes out of that. Seeing people do what they want to do, it's, it adds to the good energy of the world. And we need it. We really do. And I feel like I've said this before. And I'll probably keep saying it. It'll probably be a pattern, a trend, a thing in my videos. But we need good energy in the world. And one of the ways that we're going to do that, and one of the ways that we're going to increase this good energy and the good vibes, is by doing what we love and inspiring other people to do what they love. Because if you think about it, if everyone as a collective is doing what they love, there's no reason to be violent, aggressive, sad. There's no reason to take take our frustration from not doing what we love out on others. It'll it'll just create this overall overall feeling of satisfaction fulfillment purpose i i know from my own experience that finding your purpose in life is easier said than done but it is worth doing and sometimes in our journey of finding our purpose we can feel really lost because while some people kind of just know what they're supposed to do in life, some of us struggle a little bit more. We struggle in finding what our purpose is because we, we overthink and we doubt. And sometimes we don't have a good support system. Sometimes we don't have that guidance that we need. Some of us need guidance, that little push to remind us, hey, this is where you need to go. This is the path you should be taking. Some of us don't, we don't know our higher self yet. We haven't done enough soul searching and we haven't done enough work to open our third eye. And it's difficult. It's difficult to find our purpose, but the journey is worth it. And I think... I think investing in ourselves and doing what we love has a lot to do with our purpose in life. 
Okay, so as I was in the middle of that, um, my my phone kind of just did that thing where it was like, hey, you have too much shit on here, so we're going to stop recording. Um, I need to start doing this with the proper camera. But anyway, um, what I was basically getting at was that when we all do the work in trying to find our purpose and simultaneously doing what we love we amplify the energy of the world the good vibes positive vibes we inspire other people they start doing the same thing and we all just we build and we we move along in a positive direction and that's the overall goal i think for ourselves for the world people we love friends family you know all the all the good things and yeah i just i just really if there's anything you should take away from this from this is that it is worth doing what you love to do for so many reasons so many reasons it's just worth it it's worth it because like i said no matter what time is going to pass by and we are not immortal we are not forever and tomorrow will come and you you're going to look back and you're going to wish you would have done that thing you wanted to do it's just human nature we want to do these things and when we don't do them there's always that feeling there's always that feeling of man i should have done it why didn't i do it and that's going to happen with a lot of things unless unless we do these things i know definitely this year i want to do more i want to think less and do more i want to doubt less and do more i want to do more i want to live more i want to live my life i don't want fear doubt anxiety depression anything like that to get in my way anymore because it's it's been like that for so long and it's 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 gotten to a point where i'm I'm willing to do the work and it's not going to be easy and I'm going to have to overcome a lot of mental physical challenges. I know that for a fact. But I also know that it is worth it. It is worth it and if this inspires even just one person, if it inspires even just one person out there that watches this to do something they love, then I am so, I am so happy about that. I'm, I'm so satisfied if just one person, because I know it's going to make a difference in their lives. Just like I know it's going to make a difference in my life if I finally just do what I want and not let anything get in my way. So I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you for sticking around this long. You've done so. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe for more, for more videos. And just remember you are important. Your feelings are important. Your experiences are important. They're valid. Everything about you is necessary in the world because you're, you're unique. There is no one like you. Um, and yeah, just thank you. Thank you for, for listening. Ah, I shouldn't be drinking that much coffee. Oh man. Okay. All right. See you in the next one. Peace.